Well, hey there, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. Wherever you're watching from, from home, from work, uh, from the, the back porch, drinking your coffee, wherever this finds you, hope that you're having a great day. And, you know, as a pastor, I find it really interesting some of the conversations that I find myself in with people sometimes. And a lot of times I have conversation with folks and they make statements like, you know, I'm just not that religious. Or, man, I just have a problem with religion in this area. Or, you know, I just, I don't like religion overall or some of the things that I've heard. And what's interesting is to, to go to the next step of that conversation to just share that Jesus didn't like religion. In fact, when we read through the New Testament, read about Jesus' interaction with people, really the only time he had conflict with people is with religious people. And it really started to, to help us understand that, that what we have built up for religion maybe isn't what Jesus intended for religion to be. Because for the most part, when we look at how we as people have built systems of religion, they're often built around power and authority. They're built around corruption and hypocrisy. And they're completely opposite to what God has intended for religious activities to be about. And in James chapter 1, we see in the New Testament a definition granted for what real religion is. And in James 1, 27, it says, Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. So here James, the, the half-brother of Jesus, is saying, Hey guys, if you want to have true religion, here it is. Religion is serving people who can't otherwise be helped. When you think about orphans and widows, a lot of times those are people who don't have anyone else helping, investing, and being there for them. They're people that a lot of times also need help. They need assistance in, in some areas. And also, a lot of times are people that can't pay you back for anything. They can't help you back and, and have some equitable exchange of assistance. And that's exactly the way it is with us and God. God stepped into our life to help us, to, to save us, to rescue us when we could do nothing in return for him. When there was no other option for us to find the help that we were looking for, Jesus stepped into our life. So if we want our religion to properly reflect the one who saved us, it's us going and serving the people who maybe no one else is serving. It's us helping the people who can do nothing to bless or benefit us in a tangible way. It's us reflecting the heart of Jesus and saying, I'm going to serve and help those who are in need. So today, my challenge to you is if you call yourself a follower of Jesus, you believe that he is the son of God and savior of the world and died on a cross for your sins and rose three days later, if you've made a commitment to follow him, then are you living with true and perfect religion, as James says? Are you living this out? Are you helping and blessing those that are in need, specifically orphans and widows that are in your life? Are you stepping in to be the one to help and bless and be a resource to them? Are you serving those who might otherwise be dismissed by society? Because that is what Jesus has called us to do. So I hope you have a great day, Calvary. I hope that you live with true and undefiled religion today. Have a great day.